So we're going to go over questions one through five for our first IOD 404 standard. Now the, uh, the first thing I do is always the same. I pick up my pen and I write my name. We're going to be in second period today. <clears throat> That's a rhyme that I used to use when I taught reading in kindergarten. I still use it sometimes. But you guys have been pretty good about writing your name, so congrats. Okay. Now, this question, this standard is a little bit different. So we're doing all our 400 levels first, and then we're going to our 500 level questions. But this standard is about interpolating or extrapolating. So what we do is we read the question, okay, and then we find the mentioned variables We order them, I'll explain what that means in a second. So we order the variables and then we find our missing number and we predict. So these steps are a little bit different than what you've been doing before. You still find the questions and go back to the passage, but now you have to do a little bit of math. So. Number one, if study one, so I'm going to go to study one, had included a mass of 2,000 kilograms, what would be the result at 80 kilometers and a UK of 0.3? So I'm going to go to study one, table one. I'm going to find my mass of 2,000, right? So that's where that's going to fit. So I don't, they're already in order. So this is what I mean by order them. You find the missing number. Okay, and it would have been at 80. And it would have been at 0.3. So what would, um, what would the stopping distance be? Yeah, because we're looking for the stopping distance. So now I'm going to take all my other ones at 80 and I'm going to do the step three here. So that would be 1100. 80.3, 85.3, then 1650, 80.3, 85.4. So I'm looking at this one, this one. My variable is going to go between, and then 2950, 80.3 and 86.1. So what's the trend here? So as the mass increases, the stopping distance increases here. So now, because 2000 fits in between 1650 and 2950, then my stopping distance is gonna be between 85.4 and 86.1. And that's what I'm looking for. Okay, so we ordered them and we find where it fits. So, 10.9, no, no, no. So my only option for um, number one is D. All right, based on the data in table one, so I'm gonna go to table one. Table one, if vehicle A were driven at 60 kilometers per hour, what would be the most likely value when UK is 0.3? So, based on table one, so what would it be? So we have, uh, we're gonna look at this one, so 40 and 0.3, 80 and 0.3, 40 and 0.3, 80 and 0.3, 40 and 0.3, 80 and point 0.3. Now, 40, 80, so 60 falls in between it, and that's 21, 85, 21, 85, 21, 85, 86. So it's going to be somewhere between 21 and 86. And 60 is about halfway, or actually exactly halfway between those two numbers. So let's see. It's going to be between less than 10? No. Between 10 and 20? No. 
greater than 80, no. Because we know it's going to be between. So if you look what you drew here. So 60 is between 40 and 80. So D would be between those corresponding values. Between. So by the way, this is how you write between. Between their D values. Okay, number three. Based on the results of study two. So I'm going to go to study two. So one, go to study two. Um, highlight UK. Based on the results of study two, which of the following is a likely value for D on wet roads if a vehicle's tires produced a UK between that of road and off-road tires? Highlight UK, highlight wet, and then on off-road. Okay, so I know what I'm looking for. Now I'm going to go back to study two. Okay, now. I'm looking only at wet roads. So wet, wet, and wet. Now it said I need to look at the UK. And the D. These are the two things that I'm looking for in this question. So, um, it has to be between on and off-road tires. So that means that UK would be between 0.611 and 0.844. So I'm looking for that. And now what are those stopping distances? 23.2, 16.8. So it's going to be between these two values. Okay, so um, in between the values that we said, so 23.1, sorry, 23.2 and 16.8. So that's too small, that's too big, that's too big, our answer is B. Got a couple more. Number four, if vehicle B in study one, we're driven at 40 and a point four, the resulting D would most likely be. So, vehicle B is where I'm going. I'm going to look at vehicle B in study one. It's driven at 40 at a UK of point four. That's between these two values on the table. And I'm looking for stopping distance. So that means that. So this one is. 0.4, so it's going to be between 21.7 and 10.8, so somewhere between 10 and 20, right? So less than 10.8, no. Between 10.8 and 21.7, yes. And then I don't even have to look at these answers because I already found mine. All right, last question of the day. If vehicle A in study one were to travel at, so I'm looking at vehicle A, study one, 120 kilometers with a UK of 0.6, and then I'm looking for D. So, vehicle A, now here we have to make the number different. So we have, which UK value are we looking at? A UK of 0.6. So we have 40, um, 80, and now we're looking for 120. Okay, so we're going to be guessing outside, right? So at 0.6, this one's 10.8. This one is 42.3. And what did this number do? So when you add 40 here, this one was like about times four, or we, so let's see our answer choices. But we know that it's gonna be bigger than 42.3, right? So 
that's too small. All right. So now let's write these numbers down. We had 10.8, we had 42.3. Okay, so as we went down that increment, we multiplied this by four. So now I'm gonna take this one and multiply it by four. So 140 times four is about 160. So the answer is D. So you, multi you find the factor, so you have to find the number relationship. So what's the relationship between those two numbers, right? So this was four times as much, so this one needs to be four times as much. And that's it.